Hi guys. Well, it is a hot, muggy Cinco de Mayo. That would be Thursday, May 5th, 2022. And, uh, well, my hot date for Cinco de Mayo, uh, just canceled our margarita romp. I guess, uh, Austin, Texas is under a tornado watch. We have a severe weather alert. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch all over the place around Austin. So, uh, could be my last rant. So, suddenly, here I find myself alone again with my little dog in Austin, Texas. So, uh, since I guess I will not be heading out for a hot date with a uh, with a normie, uh, I decided it is time for a, an update to my personals ad on Pile of Fish. I have not uh, updated my personals ad in a while, so since I'm moving. You know, I'm moving back to uh, New York, baby. Uh, Going to see if I can get more than one date this summer. I, I had one date last year on Pile of Fish the very last week I was living uh, up there. So we will see. So these are the photos. Uh... What do you think? So I just want your, I just want your input, guys, uh, especially you ladies. Uh, would you, uh, <laughs> you need to give me some some feedback here, ladies, to see if uh, I am doing it right to find the Doomer chick of my dreams. So anyway time out, out with the old and new out with the old and in with the new now the headline I've had this Don Quixote seeks his Dulcinea going on two years and I so I tried to update it to <clears throat> depressed collapsitarian seeks disgusted doomer chick with cute ass half his age but it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit, so I've tried. You only get a certain number of characters for your headline. So for right now, I'm going to keep Don Quixote Seeks His Dulcinea, but uh, it hasn't worked very well. So if any Doomer chick out there has a um, better headline, than that please uh, send in your suggestions and we will see if we can make it fit uh, I love this one they're asking do they want me to show my gender on my profile yes uh, how about show your vaccination badge yes or no Yes, you can imagine how I answered the question. Show your vaccination badge. Now, under gender, I put man born in 1959. And they left a note. Pile of Fish has a note here. Under the word, my selection man, you can only change your gender or birth date by creating a new account. So uh, if, if I want to become a woman born in 1972, I can create an account and be a woman born in 1972. I have a pile of fish. has no problem with that. So... Uh, they just go through the usual basics. Uh, now the question, do you do drugs? Do you do drugs? Uh, 
I answered that no. What were my the answers are no socially or often. Now uh, I, I had to, I wrestled between no and socially, but uh, I have smoked about maybe one eighth of an ounce of marijuana in the year 2022. So right now, the answer is no. Uh, my religion. I went with non-religious. How about the questions? Do you have kids? and do you want kids now i gave myself an average body type an average body type how ambitious are you uh, i chose somewhat ambitious and describe your personality in one word it was a tough one but I went with tree hugger. All right, so next about Sam. This is about Sam. I don't know how many characters I had to do this, but they let me do it. So here is my description, ladies. See if you would be all over this ad. <clears throat> I am in my third year of this of the snowbird lifestyle splitting my year between my little farm outside Ithaca, New York in the summer and roaming around the Southland and my little camper during the winter, my goal is to find the closest thing to eternal spring that I can while surrounding myself with beautiful landscapes and new friends. If the universe wants to drop a like-minded free-spirited female with similar visions or a woman who just wants to get rid of me for a few months each year if she does not share my peripatetic predilections I am more than open to that possibility if you are into aimless road trips down beautiful back roads kayaking running the hounds I have the coolest little dog on the planet, exploring new places off the beaten path and winding up the day with a good margarita, we probably have a few things in common. I drive a pickup truck and dress for comfort, not for speed. An absurdist wit and an appreciation for life's ironies always get my attention. I am also a big fan of anyone who can come up with one original thought per day. Wanderlust is definitely a plus. If, if you, like I, had a hard time choosing between tree hugger, adventurer, and free thinker, you are in like Flint. Guitar picking, folk singing hippie chicks and cowboy boots will probably kill me but this is just a fantasy certainly not a requirement during my summers in New York I operate an Airbnb and hip camp on my 14 acre little slice of heaven south of Ithaca called bugs in a jar farm you can find me on Airbnb or hip camps website if you want to get an idea of my minimalist lifestyle. At this point, I do not have the meet me feature, but all messages except, hi there, will be promptly answered. Don't be shy. I promise I will not bite. P.S. I do not wear a mask unless it is Halloween or if I am holding up a train and I am not vaccinated. I am not an anti-vaxxer, but I am an anti-vax mandator. Do not let anything I just said lead you to believe that I am a Trump tard or a Biden tard. I could care less 
if you are vaccinated, but we would probably get on each other's nerves if you wear a mask. I want to see your face. Also, I would highly suggest you check out my YouTube channel, Collapse Chronicles, to know who you are dealing with. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to suggest some woman who has never heard of me check me out on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So, I uh, went with Collapse Chronicles to know who you are dealing with. If anything about that channel bothers you, we are probably not a match. On the other hand, if you relate to anything I talk about on that channel, we, would, we could be a match made in heaven. Okay, and now they want me, uh, oh, they asked the questions, would you date someone who smokes? And I said no, and then would you date someone with kids? I left it blank. All right. Then I am supposed to list my interests. Type an interest and hit enter to add. These are my interests, hopefully the interest of the woman I'm looking for. <clears throat> Back roads to nowhere, running the hounds, gardening, playing music, live music, kayaking, short walks on the beach, enjoying it while I still can, staying this side of the grass, questioning authority, reading between the lines, moving giant rocks uphill, avoiding normies, Hiding out from the dominant cultural paradigm. Cursing planet eaters. Lamenting the human condition. Absurdist yard art. Staying out of the line of fire. Real estate investing. Helping snapping turtles across the road. Falling asleep to the sound of frog song, waking up to the sound of bird song. Those are my interests. And then finally, they want me to suggest some conversation starters to get this relationship rolling on Pile of Fish. So these are some conversation starters, I imagine. Uh, with the woman of my dreams. Is that noise outside our tent an alligator or a bullfrog? What do you think? Can my truck make it through that? We can be sure we cannot be sure he's venomous until we get close enough to the, see the shape of his pupils, you go first. Alright, well, which do you think is a bigger threat to the planet? Vladimir Putin or the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative? And now, for some conversation stoppers. If I were you, I would... You know what your problem is? It looks crowded at this party. I really think we should mask up. So that is my profile. So uh, I'm going to hit save changes. All right, profile changes saved.
There you go, ladies. So, uh, if you think, uh, <laughs> if you think I need to make any other changes in my profile, uh, let me know ASAP. Otherwise, wish me luck finding love among the ruins. Maybe I'll use that as my new title. Uh, <laughs> Depressed Collapsitarian Looking for Love Among the Ruins. How does that one sound? Anyway, I'll have to sleep on it. Okay, ladies, let me know. You know where to find me on Pile of Fish. Bye, guys and girls. I am off into a tornado to find a margarita on Cinco de Mayo in Austin, Texas.